What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kenton here, and welcome back to Desert Nightmare! Last time, we ended up here, um, in the freaking random desert area, because this place is actually the original Dusty Creek. Also, Alan and Jake, uh, got a little quarrel and actually fell in this hole here. So we're riding solo, at least for the first part of this. Hopefully we can find them soon. An old newspaper article. The article is about the establishment of the mining town Dusty Creek. The settlers stumbled upon a rich vein of gold in the mountains and moved here with two other families. Nearby was a tribe of Indians who were in a dispute with the settlers. For the Indians, the mountain was sacred. The dispute was over. The dispute was over. Was over the Indians stealing gold from the mines. This is weird. Okay. So got a little dispute going on with the Indians the walls around all right we need something for that got had a little uh, dispute with the natives and these uh, minor people I think or maybe I read that wrong what's this uh, old newspaper article it reports that all the Indians of a village suddenly disappeared in one day there were no traces of a fight or battle but the Indians were never to be seen again the authorities assumed they were all killed by another tribe the only remaining Indian was an old medicine man who had been visiting another fr friendly tribe. Is that the guy who uh, gives me the um, the signs and the dream catchers and all that stuff? Maybe he's the lone survivor. That's an also another good game I have to play someday. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, blocked. What's this? Nothing special. Alright, looks like we're stuck. New record, so early in the episode. Hey, what's that? Medallion. Nice. Know exactly where to put this mug. And the little indentation that we saw in this room here. There we are. What does that do? Oh, this room unlocked. Okay, what's this? Rusty key. That's awesome. Um, that's just a window. I don't know what language this is, man. What freaking language is that? Let's open this up. Mmm, explosives? Oh, you know what that's gonna be? That's gonna be for the passage up uh, to the north here. We got some TNT. Explosives, explosives. Well, stump the yard reference. Don't judge me. So I guess we got this rusty key for this door. Mm-hmm. Because I'm too clean, though. What's this? An old pa newspaper. The first child who was born in the village was terribly deformed. Despite its many deformities, it was able to live. Another family was spared of this misfortune. Their child came into the world absolutely healthy. Over the course of the next two years, another three children were born who were physically healthy, but they had unusually aggressive behavior. Hmm. Strange. You got a detonator and compass card. So, I guess we have all the materials that we need for this passage. Uh, let's put the TNT down. Can you let me do that, Sandra? Right. Let's get back here and use a detonator. What? Why can't I? Do you want me to stand in front of it? Is that what you want? What? How the freak would I know that I have to stand in front of? I would. Okay. Okay. What's this? What? Let me go back. Let me save it first. I think we're gonna either run into trouble or a puzzle. Either, both of them are trouble actually. Let's just push it. We got some holes in the ground, so let's just put the boxes in, maybe. I think that's what we need to do. All right. <gasps> actually, did we get a note from before? Yes. Okay. That's what this is. Wait, no. I just saw a snake, though. 
Ah, what this one is for. Okay. Hippo North, Snake East, Bird Thing South, and Cactus West. So, let's uh, restart this area. And now we know... And now we know... Where these things go. <laughs> Never eat soggy waffles. Hey. Alright, what is this? Crates are locked. Guess we can only go up here then. What's this? Newspaper article? It says that the inhabitants of Dusty Creek abandoned it after five years. The mine gave barely any gold and there were constant attacks from animals. In the end, the inhabitants believed the mine was cursed. They moved to a neighboring valley and founded a new town, also called Dusty Creek. Ah, okay. So now we know why they left. I don't- I, I honestly don't know what I just walked into. Jake? Alan? Jake! Alan! I was afraid you guys were hurt, but you're both okay, right? We're fine now. This must be the mine which, of which the Indian spoke of. Have you found this shrine? Nope. However, I haven't looked around in here yet. Let's stay together, guys. It's together. There's a door. It doesn't have a usual lock. There are several gears. How clever of you. The door has to open some way. I'm a physicist, not a burglar. But perhaps I can figure it out how to figure out how to open it. I hope so. Or you're gonna die. We can look in the other passage while you check out the door. Okay. Alright. Well at least I stay with someone. I just don't want to be by myself. There's nothing here but a long mine shaft. The shrine must be behind that door. Finally. We have some time together away from that idiot. I don't completely understand what you mean. What? What is going on? Jake? From the first moment that I saw you in the bar, it was clear to me that we belong together. And I know that you think just the same. I've noticed how you look at me all the time. How can you have pin for me? What? Are you crazy? You're hurting me! Don't act like this. You know you want it. Alan, to the rescue! What is going on here? You should be paying attention to that door! Release her immediately! She belongs to me. Do you understand? Did I say I wanted her? She's nothing to me. And... <laughs> Really? An uneducated bleh. An uneducated bleh. Don't try. You can't convince me. Let's, uh, let us settle this here and now. If you want to, I'm not afraid of you. Oh, how do you like that? You punk. I wasn't ready. Are you completely mad? <laughs> oh my god. Pull. The door is open. What was all that noise? Did they just... It's a mass grave. There are feathers and jewelry. They must have been Indian. Kill. What? What? What was that? You must kill them. The voice! It's coming from a mind! They must be punished. Please! Stop! Kill them! Jake? Whose blood is that? Sandra, why do you run from me? Jake! Please, I... You belong to me. Me alone. This guy is mad crazy, dude. 
I am fed up with you. You're running away. If you don't stop, I'll have to break your dang legs. Sandra! Dude. Alan is dead. Jake's crazy. Open the door, Sandra. Why do you do this? You, you're already like, just like the people of Dusty Creek. Open the door. Dang it. What is this? They're coming alive on him. J Jake! Are they already here? I thought we would have more time. I thought the mask great. That, that. Oh, dang it, I pressed a button. I can't get out of here. What should I do? The switch there. What? It should work. Avoid the Indian until the bridge is fully extend. Hey! Come on, Saki! Come on, Saki! Oh! I didn't know he could step on that thing. Alright, well. Gotta avoid this guy. Pretty good at this. Get your- Oh! Ooh! Get that way goes, bro. Saki! When is this bridge gonna be done? You done yet, bridge? Goodness. It's done. It's done. Yes. Really? Another one? Alright, we're gonna have to uh, press that, I think. Ooh, that Indian moves faster. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on, Saki. Come on, Saki. Oh, we're done. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's supposed to go this way. Okay. Um, guess I just did that. What do I do now? Oh, he's freaking fast this time. All right, I guess we're waiting on this one. I wish there was more direction than they would tell you when, uh, uh, oh, Ooh, get your freaking ankles broke, second. Come on, come on. What you trying to? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on, bridge. Yes. What's this? This must be the shrine. All right, come on, get that junk ready. Woo! Woo, throw that pouch up in there. What? No! Mmm! Mmm! Ah! This that creepy pasta music. Silent Hill music. Hey, is it over now? <laughs> Hold up, y'all. Mm. I want nothing more than to finally leave this place. Can we do that now? I think the curse is broken or whatever. But what happened to Jake and Alan? Like, that's so messed up. Who are they? The freak? This is the end? When I left the Indian behind and was alone, it didn't mean anything to me anymore. I was already so used to it. Somehow I managed to reach the next town with Alan's car and was able to inform the police. However, they only found burnt corpses in Dusty Creek. What? What happened to all those townspeople? In the moment when the powder burned and glowed in the first 
In the fire of the shrine, the life of the inhabitants of Dusty Creek also expired, as if they had to pay the price for their actions. I don't need to read this in Sandra's voice anymore. Do really though? Alright, that answered that question. But what happened to, uh... Are those my parents? From the police, I also found out that my parents were still alive. I was wrong. My father had not wanted to stop in Dusty Creek. So... They are in a hospital now. They were already on their way to the nearest major city when they had an accident in which they became severely injured. A trucker found them and alerted the emergency services. Wait. So they really did? It was probably the same trucker who had taken Jake and then stole my backpack from the car. It suddenly became so clear to me how much easier this could have been for me. Wait, so my parents actually did go on without me? They didn't? They suck as parents! It has been many years now, and to some extent life has returned to the way it was before. However, I still wake up in the middle of the night sometimes, as what happened in the city that follows in my dreams or something. I wish I could simply forget everything, but as much as I try to divert the memory, the recollection comes back to me again and again. No other choice remains to me but to live with it. Jake and Alan? Can we get some closure on that? I mean, I, I know Jay came in with blood on him. That was one of the most anticlimactic endings, bro. All right. Let's get into this, um critique what I thought of the game I thought uh, it started off a lot better than it ended obviously um, you know the plot was good I go in some gas station my parents go on without me um, and basically try to find my way back to them all right good we got some characters Jake and Alan got some weird dynamic going on with the two of them good we trying to find out what's going on in this town and mysterious and crazy things are going on with monsters running around. Good. Um, the game went wrong, I guess, with the resolution. Like, I actually enjoyed. I I, I did enjoy it until this last part. Like, and then with Jake and Alan just dying or whatever happened to them, that was anticlimactic. Um, I don't know. I thought we were all gonna escape, and Jake just had freaking problems, dude. Like, he literally wanted Alan dead, and was actually, um, serious about, uh, what's her name? I'm about to say Melanie. Sandra belonging to him. Like, what a freaking psychopath. But we made it out, nonetheless. Um, can't say the same for those guys. But, um, yeah. This was Desert Nightmare pretty uh, lengthy but we got it done uh, what did you guys think of the game like I said the ending nah they, they should have redid that part but solid game nonetheless hopefully you guys enjoyed it tell me what you think down in the comment section another RPG horror down and on to the next one so hopefully you guys enjoyed Desert Nightmare if you did be sure to set those Samurai slice that like button subscribe today to join the Samurai and until next time my brothers and sisters